It seems to be getting harder and harder for some players to distinguish the difference between casual and for fun playlist in Destiny 2 and the more serious competitive playlist. So it is a huge delight when I see players take the time to run the gear that maybe isn't necessarily the best, but it's just meant to be fun. What if we quick swap into the heavy grenade launcher? Oh my gosh, the new meta has been discovered. Oh my gosh, I lied. Oh my gosh, maybe I didn't? Ah. Despite it being a generally poor idea to ask the internet for advice, 38 plus two weeks? Pregananan? I asked my live stream chat to give me some builds to run. The rules are simple. Chat donates, I play it, I rate it. Today I will show you four builds that stood out to me for one reason or another and rank them according to their offense, defense, versatility, survivability, speed, and consistency while giving them a tier ranking for flavor and viability. Flavor is a score of a build's uniqueness and synergy and viability is a score of a build's total badass levels. Let the gauntlet begin. Our first build is a cult classic among weird and niche build enjoyers. Warm Husk Crown, Middle Tree Golden Gun, or Blade Raj, and Prometheus Lens. It's a little known fact that the Prometheus Lens can actually trigger the passives of Blade Barrage, allowing for a near permanent uptime of your dodge. This obviously is enhanced by the Warm Husk Crown's health regeneration on dodge. This is like putting baked crab into a burrito. Most people who eat burritos only ever eat bean and shotgun cheese burritos and never even think to try something different. The crab meat with a bit of warm husk hot sauce on the top was working great with one another and can really shake up the experience into a delicious culinary novelty. Unfortunately, as with all seafood burritos, unless you have like a lot of special ammo just lying around, it's really difficult to keep meat in a burrito. So most of the time you just end up having to rely on pepper jack auto rifle to fill in the gaps. It's still a very solid build with the ability to keep a near permanent uptime of that healing dodge, but the necessity of special ammo in order to achieve this uptime and the general lacking power level of trace raffles not being able to compare with the near instant kill potential of other special weapons is always gonna hold this build back from being something truly spectacular. Offense, five. Defense, six. Versatility, five. Survivability, seven. Speed, six. Consistency, five. Flavor, A minus. Viability, B minus. Let's roll on to the next build. This build ran the Skyburner's Oath, a grenade launcher, and top tree golden gun with bombardiers. There wasn't any real planned synergy with this. Chat just wanted to watch me suffer with the Skyburner's Oath. But about halfway in, something magical actually started to happen. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Got two shots. Okay, we made that work. Somehow we lived that. Somehow we lived that. We're not gonna live this though. We are not living this. Oh my gosh, we're living this. I started to enjoy this build. It was just like putting chorizo meat in a shake. At first you think to yourself, this is disgusting. Why would you ever do this? But then you grow a strange appreciation for the stark contrast between the sweet cold cream of the shake and the warm savory chorizo. But that only happened like once and then I just wanted to vomit. The Skyburner's Oath is just so difficult to make work effectively. Grenade launchers are obviously fantastic and bombardiers in my opinion are maybe just a little bit underappreciated in PvP, but obviously if you take a bunch of meme things and stick it together, 9.9 .9 times out of 10, you're going to end up with just a big pile of meme and that's not gonna be a coherent anything whatsoever. It was fun, but not very effective at all. Offense, three. Defense, six. Versatility, four. Survivability, five. Speed, five. Consistency, four. Flavor, A minus. And viability, C minus. Skyburners is just way too much ass made to salvage this chorizo chocolate shake. There's an old saying that there's nothing new under the sun, even despite the sheer mathematical improbability of two people having invented the same thing, it's bound to happen every once in a while. In this case, chat had me run Rat King, Top Tree Tether, and Gemini Jesters. This is a build that I've actually put videos out on previously. I call it the King's Fang. This build takes the tried and true combination of sniper hand cannon and adds a layer of flexibility and stealth to it. It's like if you were to take a bean and rice burrito and then paint it camouflage. 
it allows for a stealthy delivery of carbs right to your enemy's pie hole. On top of this, quick access sling on point of the stag can nearly minimize the TTK to be faster than that of almost every other primary in the game, barring some crazy damage buffs. All of these together make for a truly delicious and stealthy burrito experience, and I've never taken the time to actually rate one of my own builds before, so... Offense, eight. Defense, nine. Versatility, 10. Survivability, five. Speed, six. Consistency, nine. Flavor, S. Viability, S. I know I am clearly biased and I have a lot more practice on this build, but damn, do I love a good camouflage bean and rice burrito. Everyone loves electricity. It powers our houses, our electronics, and our food vaults. So when I had a build suggested to me that makes zapping things more available, I was sold. Got it. Shooch. You kill a guy right and scratch him, he crashes in. <laughs> oh my gosh. Please. Oh, yes. That might, that might be yeah. <laughs> this build is very straightforward. Get a kill with the Traveler's Chosen, use the Traveler's for a grenade, use the grenade to kill, season with Crown of Tempest, cook until it reaches an internal temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit, profit. It seems strange to me that more people don't use the Traveler's Chosen. It's literally ability spam, the gun. Judging by the amount of times I get shattered dived out of super, you would think this would be an auto lock until Bungie nerfs it three years later. Regardless, I was happy to abuse the near constant uptime of my abilities. If I had more time with the build and a better, more close quarter, tighter knit map, I could have easily abused the arc web to a much better degree. The build was really solid and it has some very clear, well-defined flavors baked into it. Offense, six. Defense, eight. Versatility, eight. Survivability, six. Speed, five. Consistency, eight. Flavor, A+. Plus. And viability, A. Very, very solid. I love a good electric taco. Damn, I'm actually kind of getting a little hungry. In fact, it's been like 12 hours since I've eaten. The last vids didn't do too well, so the revenue is uh, kind of slim. And with all this talk of food, I, I didn't want to have to leave stream early. I, I told Lux, who was in my chat with me, I may need to change what times we stream because the viewership was nearly half of the last time we streamed. But with only 50% of the normal amount of viewers, chat showed me that I never really need to worry about going hungry. What the fuck? <laughs> Donation's not fantastic. I'm not even mean, I didn't mean it like that, Sober. I didn't mean drop $50. I just meant that there's not a lot of people. <laughs> oh my gosh, now I feel bad. No, that's not what I was saying. You can't just walk in here and be generous like that. No, I didn't, I, didn't, I wasn't trying to guilt trip. I was just saying from a number standpoint, Typically speak. No, stop. <laughs> oh my god. Bursh. This the fucking thing. <laughs> Full stop. <laughs> She's son of a bitch. You're a jerk. I freaking hate it. I, that's not what I meant. <laughs> no, <laughs> Everybody's no, going no. ham. What is happening right now? We're so. <laughs> <laughs> So, all right, hold on. Time out. Time out. I'm overwhelmed. Just... For fuck's sake, I'm I'm gonna get a glass of water. You all can just deal with it. I'm 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 walking away. I'm gonna go get a glass of water. Goodbye. Never before have I witnessed such enormous amounts of generosity. I was I was stunned. Chat in five minutes gave enough money for a month's supply of Chipotle burritos. I didn't even have to worry about food money for that week. So right then on the stream, I ordered myself a charity burrito for me and my family in honor of all the kindness and love I was shown by my viewers.
the stream is just com becoming a Doug Doug stream. Hey, Doug Doug is my stepdad, okay? So you can shut your mouth.